What's going on, everybody? It's the Hook Cam back again with another film breakdown. And today, James Devlin retired. One of my favorite Patriots, one of the best fullbacks, and what continues to be a, a very sad offseason for the New England Patriots gets even sadder with number 46 hanging him up. And he was an outstanding football player. So I wanted to dive into a little bit of film and show everybody why he was so good at lead blocking, at doing what he did for the New England Patriots, and why he was so vital to this running game. And when you look at the the numbers from last year compared to two years ago when the Patriots ran the football, New England was so much better two years ago. I mean, everything that they wanted to do run game-wise was there. Sony Michelle has a historic postseason run, and that's really what I want to highlight in this video is how good James Devlin was in the postseason and how that relates to Sony Michelle. Now, the first play that we're going to look at here is going to be a split zone from the divisional game against the Chargers, and what the Patriots are going to run is a split zone here and what is going to happen when you run this and where you hand this rock off is it's going to influence backers right see we have backers already scooting over we're going to work out here and here we're going to combo with our guard and our center up to this backer but we're going to leave this three tech right in the middle of this thing and james devlin's going to come down and block this but it's not an easy block where we're just coming down and pinning this his right shoulder excuse me his left shoulder our right he has to block this guy and be really strong with his inside arm so that way we can still open up space here and we can see this gigantic gap that opens up right through here. But again, it's this strong arm from James Devlin, uh, that trap. And using a fullback when you run things like this opens up the line of scrimmage so much more. Not only does it open up the line of scrimmage, but it also creates uh, a lot of false keys for linebackers like we saw in that last play. They influence more of a wide zone play, more of an outside hitting play. But they still hit that in the A gap. And when backers move and they bounce over gaps, that's when it vacates and that's where spots open up. Now, here's another example example of where James Devlin was uh, so good and it's on a, a wide zone look from New England or an off tackle look and, and what New England's doing with this is they're going to combo tackle and tight end and they're going to work up to 51 right they're not going to worry about 37 because James Devlin's working to kick out the end man on the line of scrimmage and he, he did this time and time again and he was so good at it right and when you look at this thing from the top it doesn't look too crazy I'm sure that there's a lot of people watching this going anybody could do that no it's not true it's a lot of times fullback fullbacks go in they do that and they get Olaid. They get they miss. They're too far outside and defender cuts underneath. James Devlin was on the money almost every single time. And now we look at this play against the Kansas City Chiefs in the AFC Championship game. And this was a game that was just pure grit out of James Devlin. And he showed so much uh, of, of just pure toughness almost. And I hate I almost hate saying toughness so much in football because I think it's cliche and overused. But this dude really embodied what it meant to, to run power running plays and not just power where you're pulling a guard but we're running ice we're running our wide zone we're running our counter he did this so well and now this is just going to be a straight up iso meet me in the b gap right we're going to run a combo here with our center and play side guard working to this backside linebacker right here and james devlin does a phenomenal job on this thing meeting this backer in the gap but i want to highlight the point of contact okay if james devlin hits this dude on this outside shoulder pad then this play is going to get tackled for a two yard gain but he works inside out on this thing he hits that play side shoulder pad right and he does such a good job of leaving that lane for sony michelle to cut this thing back up field i mean these are key blocks and this was something that was missing so much from new england's rushing game last year the next place that james devlin was just elite at was blocking on the goal line and this is something that again i think it almost gets you know your team gets down they get on the two yard the three yard line and you're like okay we're gonna put in six here we got six on the board it's so much more difficult than just assuming you're going to get points, right? It's so much more difficult than that. And, you know, getting stuffed on the goal line, losing yardage, only coming away with three points can be demoralizing for a team. You have to be efficient in the red zone, especially inside the five. Well, with a guy like James Devlin, you can dial up your ISO any day of the week, right? We're blocking down. We're creating a mosh pit in between tackle to tackle. We're working out with our tight end, working out with 83, and we got 46, James Devlin right here, working right into this gap to take on this backer. Man on man blocking, right? Who wants some more? James Devlin gets low pad level and just drives his legs right through that guy for an easy touchdown for the Patriots. Just a phenomenal job once again on the goal line. And it was really throughout this Kansas City game that James Devlin um, did such a great job lead blocking when it was so crucial for the Patriots, right? Here we have a fourth and one. Uh, just a massive play in this football game. The the middle of this field, obviously, you just saw Brady tap his helmet. We're going to check out of this. I'm sure that they had something else dialed up. And they're going to go again to their off 
tackle stuff. So we're working out here with Gronk. Marcus Cannon's going to work up right here uh, to reach on 49. It's going to create a, a little bit of a traffic jam right there for 53 coming across here. But once again, James Devlin, who's in the gap? 29. We're going to work to kick him out. And that's going to open everything else up for Sony Michelle. A big time play. Fourth and one. You need a block. You need a score. James Devlin's there for that power running game. And once again, I, I can't say enough how much that was missed for the Patriots last year. Here we go again, a big time down in the AFC Championship game. They're going to run a long trap, okay? So we're going to pull with our, our guard right. Uh, Edelman's going to come down and block 49. We're pulling with Shaq Mason. We're going to kick out uh, 55 D Ford, I believe. And then we're going to lead around here with James Devlin. He's going to pick up whoever's in the gap, most dangerous man. You can see we work down. Shaq Mason pulls are working down here with Edelman. It's going to be on 59 now to scoop across this thing and make a play. And Devlin's there to kick him out, work upfield 23 doesn't have the angle and once again James Devlin is paving the way for a big time New England Patriots touchdown and again here we go back to this goal line and, and this is where this dude was so effective and I know you're probably looking at this at nauseous going once again we're watching this goal line stuff I don't watch anymore Campbell too bad okay this is where James Devlin made his money this is why he was so great once again on the three yard line we need a touchdown Super Bowl on the line we're going to run ISO, okay? We're going to run ISO. We're going to go get this thing. Again, great block at the point of attack. If James Devlin is coming through here, chest up, not ready to take a hit, this play's blown up. Rex Burkhead has stopped for a gain of zero by 20 who's coming in to fill. But no, James Devlin's working this thing upfield. You can cut right off of his butt and get me into that end zone for another Super Bowl appearance. Just a phenomenal job game in and game out from James Devlin. And it continued in this postseason run into the Super Bowl. And I think it was so phenomenal, the game plan that New England did with Coach Skarnackia, Coach Belichick, and as well as James Devlin in this situation because you had to get creative when you're running the rock, right? We got Nauticum Sue and Aaron Donald here along with a very athletic, very mean uh, linebacking duo, or excuse me, linebacking core, I should say. So you got to get creative. So again, they're going to go with the split zone, right? We're going to work, I think we're working up to the backer with this, but the biggie with James Devlin here, right, is we're coming down to wham Nauticum Sue. Now Nauticum Sue, I don't know if you guys know, not a small guy. Okay, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to bring a hard hat. Be ready to roll here. Now James Devlin is gonna end up falling down on this play, but you know what? Block was effective. We're picking up yards, and I guarantee you that's all that guy cared about. Playing fullback is a very selfless position. Very selfless. You're not gonna get the shine. You're not gonna get the interviews. You're gonna get a goal line carry every once in a while, and you're probably gonna score because you know how much that means. But at the end of the day, this dude was all about blocking, creating space, and just being the grittiest patriot you could ever imagine. Once again here, we're working on a toss that we end up breaking with Sony Michelle, And I'm going to show you guys again how we're blocking. And he's working out to take care of whoever that most dangerous man is. Whoever appears in that gap, right? we got to stretch this defense. We have to be smart about how we're running the rock. Right, we can see James Devlin targeting right here. We're working for 58. He's going to be end up being the guy who pops into this gap. Yeah, he's trying to eat up a blocker. Now, if 58 works in right here and we stop James Devlin right there, then we're going to end up running into a little bit of trouble with Sonny Michelle. But James Devlin keeps working and just bowls this dude over. Okay, and we're able to cut this thing back with Sony Michelle. Another great job by him. I mean, this dude just embodied grit. He embodied what it meant to be in the trenches. All the cliche stuff you hear, that was James Devlin's game. And unfortunately, his career was ended a little bit short with an injury. But I think that this play in the Super Bowl really, really is just the cap on everything. Okay, it's tie game, 3-3. Three to three. Phenomenal throw from Brady. Phenomenal catch from Gronk. We need to get the touchdown here. Put this game out of reach is what it would seem like at this point. And once again, what are we running? ISO, James Devlin, meet me in the gap, right? We're going to take on Mark Barron, and we're going to work him right into the end zone for a touchdown and another Super Bowl victory. James Devlin embodied what it meant to be a gritty football player, to be a tough football player, and to get the job done, not for yourself, but for the guys around you. And I want to end it with this clip right here against the Houston Texans. One of my favorite runs in New England Patriot history, right? We tried to jump over the pile, but we keep grinding, we keep fighting, and we end up scoring a touchdown on this thing. I just love everything about it. This is the first play that comes to mind when I think about James Devlin, him trying to leap over the pile, Bo Jackson style. Maybe we're not there yet, James, but you know what? He keeps fighting, keeps grinding, and scores a big-time touchdown for the Patriots. 
Patriots against the Houston Texans in 2013. So I believe he came into the league as a defensive lineman coming out of uh, an Ivy League school. I want to say it was Brown. Um, and he ended up having a phenomenal career with New England, being one of the best fullbacks in the league year in and year out. Very unfortunate that his career ended like this, but you know what? The man's a Super Bowl champion. You can't ever take that away from him. Played a great year, and I was so happy to watch him play every Sunday for the Patriots. So, so with all that being said, guys, I'm the Hook Kim. Hope you enjoyed this film breakdown of uh, James Devlin and what he meant to the Patriots. Um, I'll be back with a little more draft stuff as we're pumping along with our draft recaps. But uh, that's all I got for you guys today. If you haven't already, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button to the Hook Cam. And uh, that's all I got for you guys today. And I will see you next time.